The Tri-State neighborhood is still reeling tonight from a mass shooting. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brad Burke. And I'm Shelley Kirk. We start with continuing coverage of last night's double homicide in Henderson. Neighbors living near the Harbor House speaking out about a violent night. Eyewitness News' Ryan Wittry is here with their story. Brad, Shelley, some, in some ways the neighborhood around the Harbor House looks like Main Street, USA. Neighbors know and talk to each other. Kids play football on the lawn. In other words, it's not exactly the place you'd expect to see two people shot and killed and two others injured. So it's a little surprise why people who live in the area are shocked tonight. My name is Mary Gold. I've been living here a long time. And this is the first time I see murder on this street. Most days, the seven and 800 blocks of Clay Street are mostly peaceful until a sudden burst of violence Thursday night left two men dead and two others injured. I'm a senior citizen and retired. I have nothing to do but be nosy. I would say that, be nosy. And I just went outside and looked. When I seen this man come running down, he said, I've been shot in the head. I just, I didn't know the man, but it worried me, you know? Mary Gold says she was just sitting inside watching TV when she heard the shots. Her bang, bang. And then I see these men running and I knew someone was hurt. Crystal Stott says she was surprised when she found out she knows the suspect, Kenneth Gibbs. He was always polite. I've had conversations with him. I, I was very, very surprised that he actually did something like this. Still, while she says the area is typically quiet, Mary Gold says she's still worried. It's sad. And two innocent people got killed. Probably over something stupid. And this, I'm going to tell you again, this is not a bad area. It's not. Police have still not said what led up to the shooting. Kenneth Gibbs faces two counts of murder and is expected to be on court Tuesday morning. Ryan Wittry, Iowa News.